Hello, this is a build video of my first full build for a starship. This is the starship. I'll go ahead and give you a tour. It's actually laid out really well. Uh, I really like its ease of use. All the habs are on two levels and there's no ladders. So I have the Stroud Bay, which comes in right into a captain's quarters for easy sleeping and resting. Then I have my all of my workbenches, a Stroud workshop. And then after behind that, I have a three by three mess deck. So we've got the galley over here, storage. And then on the other side, we've got the wardroom. And I have a slim docker beneath it. So the entrance is there, slim docker is here. You go into the Cabot C4 bridge, which has the stairs instead of a ladder. And I come in here and I have my battle stations and then over here I have a computer computer center a two by one computer center and then next to that I have the Novatech armory through some of the um, Hope Tech spines to come to a two by one all-in-one living by Stroud Come across to the other side to another all-in-one living by Stroud, two by one. And then we have the science, uh, science lab, our research lab for Nova Galactic. And then we're back into the battle stations. And then I do have a three by one all-in-one living quarters um i think it's deimos back here and then there's you can see the passageway i've got nova galactic and the hope tech crossways going between the two the other two all-in-one living quarters and this is the video of the tour of my ship thank you this is going to be the build video, how I built the Azure Scorpion. So here it is. Here's what the ship looks like. I did do the glitch where you get, where you fuse items. Um, apart from that, there are no mods or other glitches or anything like that being used. It's just the like rotate to make things fit and merge. So let's get into it. So I'm going to take all of these off. Move that back there. Got these on the other one.
think it goes back. Yeah, it goes like that. Almost forgot how I built it. So, here we go. These are all the parts. So, as I said, it comes in with the landing bay on the bottom, the Stroud Eklund landing bay, Stability Pro. It goes into a Tayo captain's quarters because I like the way that the Tayo looks. Um, behind that, I have the Stroud workshop because the Stroud workshop also has the research center. So, you don't need that somewhere else. Um, and then I have the Hope Tech Mess Hall 2x3. I tend to like the way the Hope Tech stuff looks on the inside because it, it it's a darker, more muted, not bright in your face. This Tayo Captain's Quarters, sometimes the light is really glaring, so it's almost blinding being in there. Um, but it fits so perfectly, I didn't really want it on the bottom being perfectly square like that as the, the mid, Tayo mid. I didn't want it swing switch it out to a hope tech but they'll look the same interior wise and then for cargo i have a good amount of cargo i've got twelve thousand one hundred. my mobility isn't great but it's 69 and i haven't died for the longest time um top speed 130 uh hull 1579 i've got good um weapons on there i'm using the where is it right there the vanguard obliterator auto projectors and then also the pbo 300 auto alpha turrets so on the bottom i have my cargo i've got the i'm using all 40t hauler cargos with the exception of three other kinds um but for the most part these are all of them and i have one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had like six or seven. Um, oh, I do have, never mind. I do have one of the Galleon S204s. Um, and then for shielded cargo, you're not going to see it there. We'll come over here. So for shielded cargoes, I have the Digama 1000 shielded cargo holds. I've got two of those. And then I also have, oh, they're on the wings. Two of the 10 ST hauler shielded cargo. So two 320s, which makes it 640 plus 320 um got a good amount i'm not good at math in my head so 640 320 so 9 960 for shielded cargo i do have two of these little 225 caravel v101 cargo holds uh primarily because i was trying to get a little bit more cargo and still keep my mobility up so i just went with something really light just to add a little bit extra cargo. I am, it is a class C ship. Oh, here, this is supposed to be. Thought I was missing one. There we go. Um, it is a class C ship. So I'm using the sheared flow SF40 reactor. 
And then for the Gav Drive, I'm doing Apollo G300. So it gives me 50 grav thrust jump and 40 power with a good amount of hull, 1315 hull, which is nice. I'm also using the 900T HE3 tank. Um, and then to get a little bit extra range, I did add just recently uh, this Titan 550 helium tank for another 160. So I've got a total of 650. Eight, 810 fuel. So the Cabot is what ties, Cabot bridge is what ties everything together for the Habs. So I do have the Vanguard Bulwark Shield, but that's going to have to move because I'm going to have to mess around with that hab to get that in there. So that fits perfectly fine like that. Now, this putting the shield in there is the one of the first ways where I do the, the little glitch to make everything blend in. Although, yeah. So... Having that inside there, it's inside the Dymos all-in-one birthing. So we can put the all-in-one birthing here, release it. It'll try to snap in, but it says it can't. And I will just go to the variants, like change the variants, go to an engineering bay, go back to an all-in-one, hit cancel, which is tab, and it stays. So we're going to do that for the Slaytech or Slayton Aerospace engines, the SL. SAL 6830s, which is how I have, go on the side so you can see. So I that's how I have these two here. Um, or actually, that's how I have these calendars. I'll show you the calendars with the, that later. And so that's the basics of it right there. Now, So this here is basically just to cover up or these two flanges on the side are for covering up the important parts and protecting them during space battle. I forget why this is not working. Now this one won't go because you have to flip it. So now that it's there, I take the, I unclick it with the mouse button. Now I just flip it, flip it, hit tab and it sticks. Now this should go and go right on top of it. I guess that one bottom was not working with it. That's why I was holding it up. So now over here on the wings, um, I'm going to do them all. I'm going to do one side to show you how everything works. So on this Stroud Eklund, or Stroud Cowling 3LAPT, uh, which basic PT means port, ST means starboard. So it's this Stroud Cowling three long, three length, I don't know what A means. Um, maybe because it's the part of the cap A, it's the Cowling A, three long Cowling A port side. So I have the alpha turret on here. That's going to have to come off. I'm going to have to add it again later. But here we have all of this. This is, there's no 
glitching for this here with the exception that I've got to move this and redo that. I might have to redo this. We'll see. Can double click and attach it. Everything fits nice and easily. So with these, when I originally put them in, I had a porthole here. So it, it, I had to glitch it in, but I don't have to do that now because I got rid of the porthole. So now for this engine, how I got the two of them on there. You're going to actually delete this one. And then while your mouse is hovering over this for PC, it's control G, you're going to duplicate it. And most of the time, don't move it. Oh no. Okay. So I remember how I did this now. I can't do that there. So we'll bring this right here. I have a connection point above it. So hit control G, it moves it up. Just hit E without moving the mouse and it sticks. Now these, if you shift and click or select both of them, you can move them together and they work just fine. And because this point here is where they overlap in the center, you can take this and connect it and have both of them connect to it just like that. And then you can take this Nova or Tayo cowling on the top to make it kind of nice and smooth and go right into it. Now for the gun, it comes here and you're like, oh, it won't let me do it. Put the mouse till it stops. Just hit Z until you get the direction of the turret that you want. Hit tab and it stays. Same thing with this here. This is going to go right here where the engines are. Uh, hit Z, flip it until it gets back to where it'll attach, hit tab, and it's there. So for these things that you where you use a little glitch, if you just move them all as one piece, even though they're like glitched together, if you move them as one piece, it'll keep it as a glitch and it'll be fine. So just like the other ones with this one, you just go to the different variants until you find whichever one you want, hit tab, and it'll go in. The reason why this one is glitching is because of the Tayo braking engine. It's actually a little bit wider than um, just the one space. So being like that, other things next to it don't want to stick. And on this one, I'll break everything up on the side so you can see all the different pieces. I'm going to keep these together because I already showed you how to do that. So this will just basically just go and attach right there. I mean, straight across, it's the, yeah. So the very last one attaches there. Then you'll take these two that will attach right in there like that. Take this, get it over here. Z, Z, tab. This will then go on the inside which gives it that little V look there. This comes to the end. This is what attaches everything on the outside, all the tie parts. 
This goes up underneath, snaps in. This snaps on the back, this snaps on the front. It snaps up top. Put it in. Oh wait, nope, get it in there. Flip it around till you have it where you want it. Hit tab, it stays in there. I want, when I do my turrets, I normally have two facing sideways in the back so they can go like behind me and above and to the sides and then two facing forward. So they kind of do, gives you kind of like almost a 360 coverage of turrets. That comes over all of the landing gears on the bottom are the NG20 Nova landing gears because those are the best ones to use basically. Um, they give you four thrust. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then those are all NG20s. Then I have the two Hope 55 landing gears, which are landing gear thrust four, but give you three hull and three mass instead of four hull, four mass. And that is my ship, how to build it.